This isn't Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> Wait, what did you do with it? Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. Oh wait, that was yeah. the that was the, the the video. Oh, I yeah. thought that was I thought that was one of you. <laughs> that wasn't the video. <laughs> no, that wasn't the video. Oh wait, it's it cool. wasn't. Just cool. Just be not. It's like B Knox, Toys for Bob, Activision. It's like which one is it? <laughs> and with that, I don't even need to introduce our guests to this commentary. Hello, Caddy. Hello, it's Cortex. Oh wait, that was you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you, 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 you do a good Cortex. <laughs> It's because it's it's because it's kind of quasi British. I, I like I I don't know if, I don't ever know if Lex Lang is doing American or British. So I I, I I don't know. But hey, thanks for having me on. This is um, this is this is some great stuff that I'm watching right now. Um, thanks for bringing me back into my favorite game to complete of all time, Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it on the retro mode. Why? It doesn't matter because they doesn't, th- like, LA, every like every other crash game before this, like they just throw lives at you. I mean, uh, on a on a first blind playthrough, if you're playing retro mode, you probably will game over a few times before you get 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 a handle on it. But this is like my third playthrough at the third at complete the time. playthrough or just third playthrough. Um, not complete, no. God no. Good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, like at this point, I'm good enough at the game that at least in the first half, I don't really die all that often. So the life counter is going through. I the think. I, uh, wait, am I the only one here that's completed this 106 percent? Fully complete? Yeah, I think you are. In which case, I'll be the judge of if you're any fucking good or not, matey boy. <laughs> <laughs> I got some sort of pedestal to put on this. Uh, <laughs> but uh. No, dude. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty. It's like one of the first things everybody brings up when it just comes to the topic of Crash Four. It's not so much the game itself; it's complete in the game, which and, which is the same as Super Mario Sunshine. Like, yeah. despite the qualities of the game as it stands, you can't. It's like it's going from zero to a hundred. That's that's the problem with it. There's no middle ground. There's no 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 one's completely happy because it's too easy if you're just going from the start to the end, and it's too fucking difficult and time consuming if you're mm. doing all of it. Um, to completion, so it's like no one's happy. I feel like mm, that's not quite a good comparison, though, because the the real issue with Super Mario Sunshine's completion is that a lot of the stuff that that they designed into the game for completion just wasn't very well designed, like um, the missions, the specific things oh, you like had to p- do, like Pachinko and the river and everything. Yeah, and the blue coins were, you know, a bit n- not good. Um, Busy bit. work. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if they had, put it lightly. if they had programmed in a bit more quality of life into the blue coins, it probably would have worked. But it, as as everything is arranged in Sunshine now, it's just really inconvenient to go after them all. That is a good word. Inconvenience is a really good word. I have to ask because I also think about this for like the inhabitants of Rockwell's Modern Life. Would you buy a TV that was? A trapezoid? Contort it like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I always see that in cartoons. I don't get it. I think it was Aww. just a, I think it was just a style at the time. Like the box says 43 inch? The measuring <laughs> is all over the place. Yeah. Oh, uh, so yeah. we're going for the Easter eggs as well, I see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't notice the crunch on the refrigerator. Yeah, that's first. pretty subtle. That's pretty subtle. Yeah. I didn't even know you could change the channel. I did not know you could put the sombrero on. Yeah, that's the first thing you do. You just run around and spin shit. Because uh, I went backwards and I saw the Spyro like inflatable thing, and like, oh, I was like, that's nice. Oh, trust me, trust the, me. The After TV. like fucking, I mean, I'm sure you you know this, John, more than other people as well. Well, all of you actually, because you've all played this. But like fucking the hidden boxes in this game, the hidden boxes in this game, you will be doing, you'll be spinning everything. Look, yeah, it's just <laughs> yeah, oh. no. Oh, there's one. Oh. There's one. The, the game is riddled <laughs> with stuff like that. And oh no! No less than ass. 45 seconds into the fucking game on the first <laughs> level. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Look, when I uh, when I first encountered that box, because I just happened to break that box uh-huh. jumping over that, and I was like, "Oh, this is sank. gonna be one My of those sank. games." Okay. I knew. I was. I was like, for for forty five seconds, I was like, "Yeah, man, this is the best game of all time." And then I saw that, I was like. Uh, and then that was it. I knew, I knew my playthrough was dead at that point. So most of the time, the hiding places are pretty clever. But when you get to stuff like the beginning of that swamp level with the yellow gem, I forget the name of it. Oh, and Jesus. Just what a, six, yeah. There are just six boxes at the very start of the stage hidden below the steps. 
where you can't. You can't possibly... see them. There, there's app, there's, <laughs> no, you, you can't, can't adjust the camera or anything. That, it's so unfair. There's no possible camera angle that you can see those boxes from. So that is uh, that was a, that. Would, I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, which I, I I just consider a snafu on the on the developers' ends because this game does have some degree of camera control. Oh yeah. Compared some to degree, yeah. Crash One through Three, because you can use you can use the right analog sticks to pan the camera. Yeah. You you, you well, I'd say it was down. more like camera nudging. Yes. Uh, but, you know, even without that, a lot of the time when they have hidden boxes within a level, it's really just a matter of keeping an eye out as you approach further down the level. And, you know, you can usually see, like, boxes and stuff peeking out as the camera yeah, shifts that's... with your movement. Key word there, though, is most. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it do, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if most of them are or not, because you could find every fucking hidden box in every level perfectly fine, and then it's always that one, and it's like, at that point, the most doesn't mean anything, because you don't get the gem, and you don't get the completionist shit, because it's either all or nothing, that's the problem. So even if, like, all of the all of the boxes were perfectly hidden, and you could see them, aside from one per stage, that one fucks everything up, and you got to do it all again anyway. Yeah. As, yeah. They, as they say, uh, uh, close only counts on horseshoes and hand grenades. <laughs> and if you beat a level and come back, you have to do all of the boxes from the start. Mm. You don't, like, save the boxes you've already found. Yeah. No, you have to do it all in one okay. take. Yeah. So it's like Basically. Yoshi's Island SNES and DS. Like that. that. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's actually a good way of putting it. Uh, yeah, that hidden gem there, I think... Uh, oh, fuck, I thought you were going to go completely past the bonus <laughs> platform. <laughs> no. That was good. This is going to go well. The bonus platforms function as checkpoints, so I always make a point to get every box nearby before I go into them. Oh, do you know what? I did On my playthrough, on my complete playthrough that I did for my video, I did that so many times. Like, I would reach, I would reach a bonus platform and then hit the boxes like afterwards and then I would die and then I would have forgotten about the boxes I hit previously before getting the bonus platform. So they were like, I'd always find like, myself missing like about five boxes and it turns out because they were all by the bonus platform. I was just... actually caught off guard by the amount of people that didn't realize that checkpoints acted, I mean, bonus rooms acted as checkpoints. Because, They've done uh, that people since were, two, I believe. People, yeah, I know. But people, maybe because they haven't played the game in a while with the series in a long time, but they haven't played it since like Crash 2 or 3. But uh, what I, I've heard a lot of people complaints from people talking about uh, the blue gem of this game, which harkens back to Crash 2's blue gem. Oh, do you I use the do it. you use the, the the bonus stage as a checkpoint? Yeah, in that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Of course. Because oh, I because I knew. Oh, you're the, the, the kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean! <laughs> yeah. You Sean can just go into the bonus. Why? You can just go into the bonus room and die. You got a checkpoint. It doesn't count towards the. Oh, blue it gem. took me like uh, fourteen attempts to get that fucker. <laughs> oh, you can die and still get the checkpoint. I didn't know. I actually just. You can you yeah. can die in the bonus room and still get the checkpoint, and it still counts towards. Okay, the blue I gem, actually so. completed the bonus stage without picking up any boxes. Well, I should try. So. <laughs> can I also just mention as well that um, I, I like how nobody mentioned the um, Invincible Aku Aku you just got there because that is the only time you are going to get the Invincible Aku Aku. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait, no, you got it. Okay. Don't, don't get used to that. Well, the thing uh, is, you'll get Invincible Aku Aku enough if you die a lot and get a lot of pity masks. True, yes, but then, yeah. If you're good at the game, you're dying at the bonus stages all the time and losing the Aku Aku mask. <laughs> I know, it looks like Lewis got 100% on his first try. It doesn't seem that bad. This is just the first. It's off of the first stage. <laughs> Man, like I, I, I made it a thing to 100% crash games for my video specifically. Well, the, the the original trilogy anyway, because I have a lot of memories doing that, and I really I wanted to do it for Crash Four, but after the flashback tapes, after realizing. Uh, there are toys for Bob relics, and then there's the insane perfect relic, whatever the hell that is called. Yeah. I got exhausted, man. Like I. That's I the problem I have with it. it. That's the thing. It's it's not necessarily about what the game asks you to do. It's how fucking long it takes and how many times you got to do the same things over and over again, and the repetition and the tedium. It's like I think I can't remember. Was it seventy or eighty hours it took me? But it took me like the length of a fucking RPG, and it's a crash platformer. It's like that. That just yeah. it doesn't work. It doesn't make like, sense. It's it. it, it it took as long for you to 100% crash 4 as it did for me to just play through Metal Gear Solid 5. Like, the yeah, story. exactly, like, exactly, like, yeah. And that's insane. Yeah, yeah. and that's <laughs> MGS 5. It's, it's one of those, we'll get into it as we encounter them more, but they really needed to either cut out all the superfluous level stuff like the flat, like the, uh, the inverted levels and having to redo. Oh, fuck the a, lo a lot of A lot of the uh, stages with the extra character stuff. 
or cut out the needless completion percentage stuff, like the insanely perfect run stuff. You can't have both of them. Yeah, for me, the end, like, because people, when I did my video, people were really surprised that I disliked the inverted shit. And then my argument will always be, every time I got into a new inverted art style, I was like, 10 seconds of, oh, wow, this looks really cool. And then it dawned on me that I had to do all the shit again, and then it didn't matter. <laughs> like, it doesn't yeah. fucking matter. Just because it looks cool, fucking it's who immediately cares? immediately nullified. It's the exact same levels with a Snapchat filter. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you Basically. get to... I know we're not at that point yet, but the food court stages with the water. Fucking jeez. It's like water Zelda, Zelda water temple, but with hidden boxes, but with the longest <laughs> levels in the game, but you can't die. Like, jeez. <laughs> Water top about the Golden Skull tools were mandatory, basically. Yes, were we essentially, that? and you can't die once. So, I know that, like, getting 100% in this game seems ridiculous, and probably something that most people won't ever do. Although, John, if you ever want an excuse to do it, it can be your live stream project for three years, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, Later. Um, but I also know that Crash games have always been, to some extent, about at least trying to go for completion. Maybe not 100%, but... Like, yeah. if you play Crash without getting any of the boxes, don't the levels take, like, two minutes to beat? Like that's, but that's my point, because the thing is, the rewards that you get in all the other games, it's never that much of an ask, asking you to go the extra step, you know? Like, it's always, like, you maybe get... Let's take Crash 2. You, may, you might have, like, three hours of standard play, but then it might take you just an extra hour or two to get all the rest of the hidden shit, and then you get the secret ending. It's not too painful, but with this, it's, like five hours of a standard playthrough and then 80 hours of completion yeah. that's my problem i had because it just it doesn't it's so in balance that's the problem i have with it it's all or, like i said it's do or die it's all or nothing there's no in between bit okay because yeah like, yeah like like you said like going for everything in crash games is par for the course but so that's what i was doing going into it and that's i'm sure what john was doing going into it for his versus video but then once you realize what it wants you to do you just give up and then you realize oh wait there's no, there's actually no point doing this and then you get like the endings and one of the one of the endings is sweet and then the other one is just garbo so like yeah the, the, the quote unquote 100 percent is all right as an ending just has an extra thing and 106 percent is nothing it's like why something i can watch on youtube it? what's yeah. the difference between 100 and 106 In the 100 percent ending, you get a kind of epilogue like you would at the end of Crash One. That yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Which like... would be fine. I'd be fine with that. And then it's like, oh, but now you got to get all the insanely perfect relics, which is all the boxes in one run without dying, and all the platinum relics, not the gold relics like in the other games, the platinum relics. And then yes. and then you get six seconds of. Oh, um, wait, can I spoil a Crash game yeah, story? Okay, right oh, yeah. Uka Uka isn't dead, and that's it. That's all you get. That is the ending. It's so shit. For 106% for is the one where you have to do the run where you get everything without dying, Die. right? So, like, if you were... Because here's the thing. I feel like this game... Need, like, what is the appropriate amount of Crash 4 to play to enjoy the playthrough, I guess, is my uh, I would game. I would say the appropriate amount is... Don't worry about the other stuff. Maybe go for a costume or two that yeah. you particularly want, but otherwise don't bother. Yeah, that's what I would say. I, I, I can't stress enough, like, despite the utter bullshit that is 100%ing this game, a casual playthrough is one of the best Crash games Oh, ever. it's excellent. It's probably the like, best you one. you know, because even if you decide not to go for, like, the 100% box gems or anything like that, you still get gems for collecting Wumper Fruits. Uh, you can get other gems for, like, doing the inverted stages. And those unlock costumes, which doesn't sound like much, but after a while, you'll play the game and realize, oh, I really like the way this costume looks. Which is, actually, you know what, that's a good point. But then there's the other thing you've got to consider, which is it's hmm. it's per stage. So it's like if yes. you if you had a cumulative, cumulative, cumulative total, if you if you just kept collecting gems just as you played normally, and then it was like, oh, 10 gems to this costume, 20 gems to the next, then that would make way more sense playing casually. But it's not because it's like, oh, get six gems in this level, get eight gems in this level. So you're still doing the repetitious going back through it yeah. for the sake of like one or two costumes anyway. So it's like, I would say personally, play it casually. And if you can, try going for the flashback tapes because you actually get more game there, you get more dialogue, you get more platforming challenges, and you get a really cool costume at the end of all of that. So that's what I would recommend. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I think the answer is to just play however much of the game you feel comfortable with and then drop it when, you get, when, when, when you're tired of it. Don't feel any pressure to just keep going. But, you know, that was my mentality with Crash Bandicoot 3. I have 
never in my life felt compelled to complete Crash Bandicoot 3. <laughs> Ever. Seriously? No. What was it? Was it the relics? I hate relics. I can't stand... Yeah. Well, I, I, it's uh, wrong to say I can't stand time trials. I'm just not the kind of person who likes speed running as a general concept, so I'll do the time trials like just to blaze through and see how fast I can go. But I don't feel compelled to go after the golds or the platinums if I happen to not be able to get them. So, <laughs> see for me, for me, with the amount of hours I've put into every Crash game, for me, if I'm going through another complete run and I get a gold relic, I'm I'm like pinching myself and like fucking getting angry with myself because yeah. it's so easy for me to get a gold. It's like no, I need the platinums, damn it! <laughs> it's like so gold is what you need to complete it, so I can get them all so easily. But it's got to the point now where gold isn't good enough for me. It's like no. Well, I'm like. I, I'm also not the biggest fan of Crash 3 overall. Like, I like the levels that are good, but uh, I'm also like, you know, I, I really liked all the variety when I was a kid, and I wasn't really thinking very much about it, but as I got older, Crash 2 was the one I always went back to. And after playing this game, I realized why. It's because what I really like is the platforming and the 70 million vehicles. Like, you're not the only person I've ever heard, you know, the only person I've heard say that. Like, there are a lot of, a lot of people that... Uh, Growing up with the original Crash games, loved three to death. But as they got older, they started uh, bouncing towards Crash Two more because of its consistency. I know? would, I would agree with you. But Crash Three was the first video game I ever played, so I would never agree. It's, oh yeah, it's Jesus my, Christ, it's my darling. <laughs> yeah. Oh sorry. Yeah. Did you know I'm 15 years old? Sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a 94 baby. I was uh, yeah. So I'm the, like Wait, I didn't play than anything. I am? In, Hmm? No, you're like successful in crap. What am I going to do with my life? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I remember getting that comment a lot during the hidden block days when I was like fucking 19 and it's like D -d -d guys I'm, I'm 26 now it's fine it's it's cool you're not a failure it's fine <laughs> I love that dance I do love that dance Mother clucker Wait, Also they... the costume the costume names are great there are so many freaking costumes in this game. The four down bottom are like um, totally two dealers. Yeah. Your pre order. Pre orders, yeah. And um, the fourth one, 360 No Scope, is uh, what you get for signing up for an Activision account. Oh, fuck. I didn't even get that one. <sighs> I, didn't, I don't like that. Well, so it looks yeah. like you haven't truly 100%ed Crash for them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, one last step. Sign up I for felt, a I shitty I felt your newsletter. sword through here. I felt your sword. I love 90s uh, Coco's costume. Totally tubular ended up being my favorite costume, which I know sounds weird because, like, oh, it's just the first, it's one of the first ones you get from the digital downloads. Like, yeah, well, so what? I like two tops. <laughs> like, I think I like Coco fucking, looks good uh, in it, but I, I can't stand Crash in it because Crash just looks like he's in his PJs and he got, like, spaghetti all over him. All of Crash's costumes tend toward the zany, whereas Coco's tend toward cute and cool. Mm. So, uh, they, they keep a consistent theme, anyway. Although, the names are something else. Bighorn Energy is a personal favorite of mine. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whoever had fun, whoever, uh, whoever uh, named these levels and uh, costumes clearly had a time in their lives. <laughs> yeah, it was Bob, and he was playing with a lot of toys at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the mysterious Bob? <laughs> and where are his toys? <laughs> I really don't want to know if they're those kind of toys. Duh. I do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we will see you all next time as we tackle the second world of Crash Bandicoot 4. Oh, that was World 1. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's two levels. <laughs> yes, that was all of World 1.